Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will look into the demo of Microsoft Jarvis, the incredible tool that links large language model with other ML community. Microsoft has just launched the interface on Hugging Face and now we can use it. I will share all the details, how you can use the API keys, how you can use the hugging tokens. So stay till the end. Before we get started, if you are not familiar with Microsoft Jarvis, make sure to check out my previous video where I explain how it works. You'll find the link in the top right corner and in the video description. You can find the link in the chat GPT playlist as well. So let's get started. So to access the Hugging Face interface, you need to go and click on this open in spaces. Once you click on this, it will take you to Hugging Face uh, interface where you can provide your details and submit it. Before we start, uh, you must make an account in Hugging Face because you will need Hugging Face token and you must have OpenAI keys. Okay, so how will you get this key? To get the API key for OpenAI, go to your uh, account, click on this create new secret key, get the key and provide this here. Okay, for Hugging Face token, once you create an account, you will go into this uh, access token list, click on this new token, provide a name. So I'll just go provide random. Select this read and write, generate token. Once you generate this token, you can show this or you can just copy this token from here. Come to your hugging face, provide your token and submit this. We have provided both the keys and now we are ready to go ahead. So let's have a look at the, the interface here. We have a chatbot section where the results will be uh, given from the chatbot and the user input. And then you have a prompt section. Then we have some uh, examples. So let's try this example. What is in the example slash a.jpg. So let's select this. You will find this is uh, fed into this prompt section. You can click on send. And remember that this system might be very uh, heavily loaded, you know. So you may expect some delay in the response because I am facing it right now. So let's wait for the response. So it took few seconds or I could say a minute uh, to give us the answer. So let's have a look at the result. There is a cat and potted plant in the image. Example a.jpg. To answer your question, I use three models. The first model, the inference result is a cat. The second model, the inference result is an image of a predicted box which is located. So you'll see that, right? It is able to give us the answers based on different models selected from Hugging Face. So this is really awesome, right? So this was perfect uh, implementation and we have all the answers here. So let's try some other example now. So I'm going with another example. I've taken this URL and I'm asking this, can you count the number of dogs in this picture? And I provided the URL. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, so it has taken the URL perfectly. No problem. Let's see if it is able to fetch the image from the URL or not. Because I couldn't find any way to provide, uh, you know, other images from here. Okay, so it has returned the result uh, based on inference result. I can tell there are three dogs in the picture. So it looks fine, right? It is able to read the image from the URL as well as provide the answer. So this was really great. So I found a prompt here based on uh, this example image. Please generate a video and audio. So I've taken this image of uh, Linus. So let's try this. So I have given the same command. I've just replaced this with the uh, image. Let's enter this. So it couldn't generate the video. Uh, we have the details given that, you know, uh, they couldn't find any uh, models available for this task. And they were trying to use uh, text to video and text to speech model. And it was able to understand image and everything. Uh, but that's fine, right? So this time I have taken the image of this girl. And I'm asking, can you create a can image based on this image? And I provided the URL. So let's hit enter. So guys, we have the answer here. Uh, it took uh, around two minutes to create. But it, this is really awesome, you know, that it is able to generate a can image of that. So look at this. Uh, based on your request, I have created can image for you. And they have used this model, the model name it has given. And the generated image is located at images slash this. So I think there will be a folder here uh, where they must be saving it. We don't have access to this, but again, I can open this over here and you can see this, right? So this is really awesome. So if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.